Hello, my name is Andrew Paulitz. I'm a toxicologist with the Cha Hydra Corporation. And today I'll be talking to you a little bit about the Toxic Substances Control Act, or commonly known as TUSCA. I'll cover a range of topics applicable to the regulatory community. However, most of my presentation I'll devote to the upcoming chemical data reporting, or CDR. Here's my contact information. Um, if you would like to uh, confer with me on anything on TASCA, I'll be uh, more than glad to provide uh, guidance and assistance. Um, I'd like to begin uh, my talk with uh, an overview of the uh, TASCA law and its history, which I feel is, is quite uh, interesting. Um, then I uh, will uh, describe how the original TASCA was reformed in 2016, which was relatively recently. And then I'll describe what does the new TASCA look like, and also uh, uh, highlight uh, the, the very significant reporting and record keeping requirements or as I call them, the triple R's associated with this law. And throughout my presentation, I would like to point out or highlight some of the practical aspects that might, you might find useful as you comply with TESCO. In its history, uh, uh, the law dates back all the way to 1976. And of course, we had different president in Oval Office, we drove different cars, uh, we listened to different music, uh, even used uh, very different uh, equipment to listen to music. But without a doubt, um, 1976 was right in the middle of the golden era of environmental laws. Then 40 years forward, in 2016, the law uh, underwent significant uh, change and revision um, and the ov overarching uh, uh, component of it is that it's highly science-based uh, uh, risk assessment uh, paradigm and the risk management um, uh, that goes with it. Uh, and currently governs uh, uh, over 86,000 industrial and consumer products. So it types to be an umbrella type of uh, uh, regulation for chemicals. The primary intent of TASCA, uh, especially the reformed version of this law, is the uh, comprehensive assurance of the protection of human health and environment uh, from any unreasonable risks that these chemicals uh, in industry or environment, consumer goods may pause. And there's distinction uh, or uh, indication that the, the, the law does not really differentiate whether these chemicals are in fact uh, produced domestically or whether they are imported. So uh, as I mentioned before, it is a, a all encompassing and an umbrella type of regulation that indeed applies to the majority of chemical substance uh, in US commerce. Um, it applies to existing chemicals as well as the new chemicals or new uses of existing chemicals with the intent of ensuring the protection of human health and environment. With the TASCA reform, EPA has uh, developed a number of new rules, and um, those are uh, have been or those are currently being implemented, and others are still in development phase. But nevertheless, I think the new TASCA, uh, it appeared that there is uh, increased um, focus on audits, compliance with this law, uh, the issuance of non-specific violations, enforcement, and fines. Whenever um, um, I get questions about any issues with TESCA, particularly in the interpretation 
of the law, of these uncertainties, by all means, um, EPA uh, has great guidance with that respect. But there's still questions and uncertainties. I always refer folks to the original source, which is the um, uh, CFR Title 40, and specifically to this great online tool that EPA has uh, with the eCFRs. And then you can have uh, uh, access to all these different aspects uh, in, in various parts. And those are listed on the slides that you see in front of me. So I think the uh, take home message with respect to the new TASCA is always check with the uh, primary reference source for this law. 